Hey, what's up? So I'm going to react to when rugby... I don't know why I can't say that. Rugby players lose control. Part two. Um, rugby is already a dangerous game, so I can't really imagine the injuries that occur when they lose control. All right, let's see. And the All Blacks have possession. Just in Springbok territory. And Cowan, oh, it's charged by Borta. And Cowan holds him back too and gets back and recovers nicely. The ball out and gives South Africa line out throws. To oh my position. gosh. Well, he Bro, was no. Back, was back his bolter, but boy, that is not a good look. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh my god, dude. This dude's not even trying to hide it. Like, obviously, <laughs> at all. First point of defense is good. Oh, hands around Wainwright's throat. Oh, and an elbow to Wainwright's face there. I mean, it would, it would be easy to get away with some cheap shots. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, there we go. That's clear. That's clear. <gasps> There's the first action is around the neck. Then you take your arm away. And deliberately, you'll hit him with the elbow in the head. That's a red card. No. Sebastian Valmaina is sent off. Dang. Oh my god. Just a straight up fist fight. I respect that more than doing it like sneakily. Oh. The guy on the right made a mistake. You don't you don't miss your punch and then lean in with your face. Like, okay. Your turn. Twelve trees missed the conversion, and with Mike Tyndall and Huria Edwards sent to the bin just moments apart, Bath took advantage with a penalty. That was nuts. I've never seen a scrum. Is that a scrum? They're moving so much. Missed the conversion, and with Mike Tyndall and Huria Edwards sent to the bin just moments apart, Bath took advantage with a penalty try on 78 minutes. Tavis Knoll was red carded in the resulting melee as Gloucester finished the game with just 11 men on the pitch. To go forward, make some easy yards for their backs, and then they get a good kick away. Oh, oh my gosh, that dude's wailing on his head. Tallis let three go, they all found the mark right on the button. <laughs> Have a look at this. And this is probably something that we shouldn't be. Highlighting, but watch this. Bang, bang, bang. Oh my god. Then another one. Wow. And they stood toe to toe and they let them go. I'm surprised it's that guy who's bleeding. And they stood toe to toe and they let them go. Should see the other guy. Physical afterwards, the ball's moved on. There's a bit going on here to Richard Hibbard. CJ Vindelinda there as well. Still alive. John, John. Fight off the ball. And injured off the ball as well. Alan Lewis knees on. He's in the back of his head. That's bizarre that, like, the play is just continuing as someone's getting medical attention. Alan Lewis knees on. He's in the back of his head. And in the end, he says enough is enough because it's developing into some scrap. Is more like a street brawl in St. Mary Street than anything that happened on a rugby field. It just escalated suddenly. Yeah, full on. Here goes the haymaker. Close quarter stuff. That's where it's kicked off. And certainly is Damien Varley putting a few in. But there's certainly a bit going back as well. It's a fine line between like what's allowed in terms of aggression. Oh, that's definitely not allowed. But, like once you feel that the other guy has crossed that line, then you're gonna take a swing, and then it just gets crazy. Oh 
Nope. I just imagine being at the bottom of the pile with like my arm twisted in a bad spot. It's just getting like broken by a bunch of people laying on it. Just very sad it seems that it should stoop to this. Ah. <laughs> Wedgie. Okay. A busy evening for the sighting commissioner. <laughs> It's an area that um, Wasps have put more work into over the last couple of years since the arrival of Trevor Woodman and there's um, oh my goodness me Deacon going three rounds with Tim Payne and he stamps on him as well it's yeah Deacon's been lucky, fairly lucky there he's a tough tough player and if there's one person you don't want to get into a scrap with as I've learned <laughs> Countless scars on my face from what the uh, Oval Park training ground. It's Brett Deacon. My God. Yeah. Was that... Oh, okay. I thought he got. I thought this dude flying kicked into his head when the other dude's elbow goes up. What a little bit. Dude, so lame. So lame. You're so tough. Whoa! <laughs> Good support play by Andrew Trimble. Come in like an extra oh forward. Ulster have got the penalty. Pinar cross kick for Payne. Bit of nonsense breaks out in the deck. And it's the embrace of Liam Williams. And somebody else has got absolutely flattened. Andrew Trimble got involved. Well, I'm not sure that was a punch by Andrew Trimble. He took him by the collar and then shoved him. And then Williams retaliated. That certainly was a punch and several punches. And right. Well, no bias intended, but I think Andrew Trimble not only came off the worst of it physically. A lot of brawly men in, in rugby. I mean, it literally looks like you're in Ireland or something at a bar fight. He just turns away. Like. Well, it was brewing underneath the surface here. Six. I think something off the ball, away from the ball, actually started this. Barco. The hooker for the Canadians was the one left on the ground. There's the negative, and that's Aho Lalei, and it got himself sent off, and that'll get him a visit to the judiciary. Times, big ambitions, like the Ospreys, and a lot of tension as well because of those ambitions. Adams kept it alive, now it's four, and it's a penalty too. They were hanging on there, Gloucester, but they did it very well. Does this really happen this often?
And there's a bit of tussling going oh, on going down the corner. Paul O'Connell. <laughs> Robert Sidoli. He's uh, like Greco Roman Wow, look at all the corner. people. Very old fashioned. Kissing, cuddling. <laughs> Kissing, cuddling. There we are. There's a fight. There's a stamp. Females in. Oh, they're then kicking him while he's down. Oh, Wayne Evans has a fight. Both fight on the floor. Sharps in, yaps in. That's not the, the real fight. Goes on next door. Or chase. If you just chase it. There we are, there we go, still a fight, they go to the ground, there's the uppercut, that cuts him. Oh, ben White, Parks getting involved for good measure. Oh, kind of ended out of nowhere. Huh, okay, well, it was kind of hard to commentate on a lot of that, because a lot of the fights were similar, and um, there were so many people just brawling. Um, it's a rough game, and I can see how it would escalate quickly. Uh, it's crazy. Man, I really don't like the guys who just out of nowhere, or they try to be sly, they try to hide it, they're just like, <clears throat> to another dude's head during a scrum or something. Rather, you just straight up punch them. All right. Well, that was nuts. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.